सो लेट्स डिस्कस दिस कोच एफ लॉन्ग चैलेंज क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज लॉन्गेस्ट एंड सबेरे सो हियर वी आर गिवेन द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स दैट वी विल बी गिवेन ए नंबर विच इज सम थ्री और फोर एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट विच इज द लॉन्गेस्ट सबेरे फ्रॉम जीरो टू दैट पर्टिकुलर नंबर एन सच दैट द and operation of all the elements in that sub array will not give the result as zero suppose the number is 3 so you can observe that if the number is 3 if you do the exo if you do the and operation with 0 1 2 and 3 then you will observe that this will give zero because here we have zero and the overall and operation will become zero So zero one two three, which is of length four, this subarray we cannot take it as the subarray which is required. Now, if you try for the subarray one two and three, you can again observe that it will becomes zero still, because one and two, if you do an and operation between one and two, they will become zero. So this whole thing one two and three will become zero. now if you take just 2 and 3 then you will get some result which is not equal to 0 and now clearly you can say that 2 and 3 is the maximum size of the subarray which will satisfy the given property according to this question so similarly you have to find out for any given number n what will be the maximum size of the subarray now let's see what is the prerequisite of this uh, before problem solving this problem now you can observe that suppose these are the binary representation of different numbers this is the number 0 this is number 1 2 3 and so on now don't consider this 0 because whenever you do and operation with 0 with any number of numbers n then you will get that as definitely 0 so don't uh, look at this just forget this now you can observe one thing uh, this is the number 2 this is the number 4 this is the number 8 now if you observe very carefully you can see that so the 2 is having the binary bit here and all the correspond all the subsequent numbers 3 and the other number if present the numbers in between this powers of 2 which is nothing but 2 and 4 you can observe that all these uh, second uh, second place will have 1 because because of the binary representation these will have 1 in these places if at all the one shift to this place then you will have another power of 2 now uh, it will be more clear if you take the example of 4 and 8 if you look at this 4 you can observe that there is a 1 here and for all the uh, all the remaining numbers also 5 6 7 till 8 you can observe that there is a 1 here and you know whenever there is the these all are ones and you do an operation between all these number then you can observe that at least we are having a bit which is not equal to 0 and thus making this whole thing as non zero now one thing is very clear for you that is if you are having a number which is not a power of 2 if you are having a number which is uh, not equal to the power of 2 then you can say that from that number suppose the number given to us is 6 from that number 6 to the number 4 if you take the end of all these elements then you can get a non zero because of this uh, once at this place so if you are given a some number n if you are given some number n then you can clearly say that from if n is not a power of 2 from n to we have to go back side from the number n to the power of 2 which is uh, below this number so the power of 2 that we can get when we are traversing to backwards from 6 now if you observe that uh, this is the number 
and the power of 2 which is below this 6 is this 4. So I can clearly say that if the number n is not a power of 2 then from that number n to the number where I can see a power of 2 below this number n this whole thing will give me a subarray of size non-zero because of that once. So now I can clearly write that as n minus the number x. So here n is 6 and the number x is 4 plus 1 will give me the result will give me the required result. This is the thing and this x is the power of 2 which we can get while traversing back. Now everything is okay but what about the finding this 4? How you will find out this 4? Suppose then the number is not only 6 if the number is even 14 then the longest substring that we can get is from 14 to 8. But how we are getting this 8 and 4 these are powers of 2 but how you are going to get that? In order to get that you have to take logarithmic logarithmic of n base 2 uh, you have to take this whole thing floor value then only you can uh, floor so if you take the floor of this if you take the log 6 to the base 2 then you will get as 2 then you will get as 2 point something but you will take only this floor value which is 2 Actually this 2, what does this indicate? What does the floor of log n to the base 2 indicate? It just tells you the number of 2's, the number of 2's that is present in that number. Which is nothing but, you can clearly say that 6 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3. So there are 2 2's in this thing. Now if you, uh, if you consider this value as some k, if you consider this value as some k, now if you take 2 to the power k then you will get the uh, then you will get the number which, then you will get the power of 2 which you want. Suppose uh, let us do this with an example. Take the number 6 then the floor of this 6 uh, log n to the base 2 value will give you 2. If you take 2 square then it, you will get 4. Now take some other number 12. If you take the logarithmic of 12 to the base 2 then it will give you 3 which is nothing but it is showing that there can be 3 multiples of 2 and if you do 2 to the power 3 then you will get the number as 8 so this is the thing the way of finding it is the finding x is you have to find out log n to the base 2 floor and then you have to take the 2 to the power of that then you will get the number which we want then you can simply do this and you will get the result which we desire okay everything is perfect till now but this is only perfect when we are having this n as not a power of 2 if it is power of 2 then what will happen suppose if we are taking the number 8 then what will happen so if you take if you look at again again at this example suppose see this is the number 8 what will happen everything except this last one is 0 so this whole thing this whole thing and operation will give you zero and the last the uppermost bit of all the numbers which are less than 8 will be zero and this 818 8 will have one here because it is extending that to the next bit so you can observe that if you if you are taking a power of 2 and doing an and operation then your result will be zero uh, because you cannot make any subarray but one thing is there you can just take that number itself and it will form a subarray of size 1. You can directly take the number 8 and if you do end operation on only on that single number then you will get that. So if it is a power of 2 then you then the result is 1. If it is not a power of 2 then the result is this. Till now everything is clear. Okay. Now the thing is that you may get a doubt. So let's take the example of this number 10. We are having the number 10. If you look at this 10, how do you find out? You may clearly know that from our previous discussion, 8, 9, 10 will give you the maximum subarray. Now, if you want to find out this 8, then you can do the by this uh, floor and taking the 2 to the power k. Then you will get this 8 and 10 minus 8 plus 1, uh, 3. This 3 will give you the size of this subarray. Okay, but 
you, this is not the longest sub array if you take because you are having a sub array 4, 5, 6, 7 which is longest. So, uh, in the question he didn't mention that you should include n in your sub array. Just he mentioned that you have to take the longest sub array. Now if you observe that the longest sub array will become 4, 5, 6, 7 not 8, 9, 10. But how to overcome this problem? Not only here, suppose there is some number uh, which is present somewhere and you have to find out. Then the way of doing it is then the way of doing it is you have to find out the maximum among this and this so uh, one thing is very clear how you will get this maximum this maximum you can get by taking then the power the power of 2 which we are having presently is 8 and you have to go and check what is the power of 2 that is below this that is 4 and if you take the difference of these two, then you will get the longest sub array which is previously existing to this given number n. Because, let me show you with this. Uh, from 4 to 8, not 4 to 8, from 4 to 7, you can make a sub array with non-zero. From 8 to 15, you can make a sub array. From 16 to 31, you can make a sub array. From 32 to 63, you can make a sub array. So, out of this sub array, which is the longest sub array? Of course, 31 to uh, like 32 to 63, that one will be the longest sub array. So, you are very clear that if our present value n minus x plus 1 is less than that longest sub array, which will be from this power of 2 to the previous power of 2. How you will get this previous power of 2? Just instead of doing 2 to the power k, you will just do 2 to the power k minus. Now let's start the coding part. Uh, so for counting number of test cases, you are reading this inside the test. And while this test minus minus, so while all this for all the test cases, you have to do this and you are taking the number inside n, which is nothing but C in n. And now <laughs> the thing which we have to do is uh, related to the main, this is the main thing we have to do. So you first you have to find out that flow which is the number nearest you have to find out which number is the power of 2 and nearest to this which is backward of this so log 2 of this number n and one more thing you have to do that thing is you have to take the previous to that power also so you are taking the first power which is back of this and you have to take the second power also because somewhere we need to compare uh, this pre the, uh, the two lengths. So you have to take this one also which is nothing but the power of. So first let's take this and this is the second number which we have to take that is nothing but power of 2 comma k minus 1. So k will 2 to the power 3 will give you 8 and 2 to the power 2 will give okay that's the thing and let's try to run this by using the custom inputs uh, one more thing you need to do is after uh, every step you need to go to the next line otherwise you will get errors. <coughs> 